name is Brianna. I'm the content strategist here at One Step Services, and today is International Print Day. Did you know that? No, of course you didn't, but it is. So I'm gonna share with you a few things that in the world of printing that I love to suggest to clients uh, when they're trying to make a piece stand out and trying to make it different, um, whether they're trying to make it very luxurious or they're trying to make it fun or they're just trying to grab somebody's attention. Um, these are kind of my go-to things that I suggest to them. Um, so the first is paper. So probably one of the most affordable ways to change your print piece is to simply change the paper that you're printing it on. Uh, we had a client who they were sending to inserts in an envelope. The first one was printed on regular gloss cardstock. The second one was printed on vellum. Who's that? Oh, sorry. It was printed on vellum, which is a, a kind of see-through paper. Um, and so they paired together very nicely. And they just did that just to be something different. They just didn't want two regular cardstock inserts in the envelope. So they printed one on vellum and it turned out really nice. Uh, another popular paper we have and I'm hoping that you can see th this um, this is a pearlized paper so it shimmers in the light and I'm I'm hoping that kind of is translating to video but um, again this is just super easy I mean this it goes through the regular digital press um, and so it just costs a few cents more per piece and it really really dramatically changes the look of the piece and in this case it made it very luxurious it took a very simple design and made it um, really fancy so the client loved it so that is the paper and then there's things you can do in the actual printing process um, so most printing these days is done on digital presses it's the fastest it's the easiest it's the cheapest um, but old-fashioned letterpress still exists and it can really make a huge impact on a piece um, so here's one you can see right here this is all done in letterpress um, all of the text is all done in letterpress so basically what that means is that a plate was created and then it was literally pressed onto this piece um, this is a business card of course a uh, letterpress can be done on a variety of different pieces it doesn't have to be a business card but um, it really makes a piece stand out because like I said, 95% of things that are printed today are done digital. So to go back to old school letterpress looks really cool. Also during the print process, you can do some foils. So this is an example of a raised foil. So the initials are raised, you can feel them and then you can see the cool foil effect. This is a flat foil. So again, just Things that are done to just certain parts of the card to make certain elements pop and it makes a big difference. Uh, you can also do the same thing on a note card. So it doesn't have to be a business card. We can do it on a couple different things. So those are some cool things that begin during the printing process. And then there are things you can do after the piece is printed to make it stand out. One of them is cut it. So here's a piece printed on regular gloss cardstock, digital press but it was cut into a house shape afterwards. It's a business card for a real estate agent. Um, so that looks really cool. Um, we also did it with a sticker. This is actually one of ours. We have them throughout the office. If you ever come in and visit, you can totally grab one. Um, so I, this is a die cut sticker. And then this piece is really cool. So this is a, a way that you can cut and fold something to make it unique. So it was printed like this and then folded here, folded here, folded here. There were some slits cut, and then it goes together like this for a piece that stands out and stands up, quite literally. So again, pretty simple things that can be done to very dramatically change the look of a piece. Lastly, the last thing I wanted to show you, something that can be done with business cards. Um, this is called Trifecta, and it's a cool middle layer that can be a different color. So basically they took, we have a white side, a white side and they glued them together to a, a green really thick cardstock and it just makes a really cool effect um, you can do this to a couple different pieces but it's primarily done to business cards and it looks pretty cool so anyways those are some fun ways to up your print game if you want to execute any of these on your next print campaign we'd love to help you do it so just Give us a call or shoot us an email. One Step Services. Thanks so much. Have a good day.